How to set up the TP-Link AX7800 router. There are a couple of different versions of this. This is the EX920 router. So let's get into position. New router. Old router. First, let's go ahead and install the app. Now that we've done that, let's open it up. Allow notifications. Accept. I do not confirm the bottom one. Create a TP-Link ID. Your email. Go ahead and log in if you already have one. Allow fingerprint login because it's just so much easier. Allow two-step verification if you want some inertia in your process. Since we're hooking up a new device, we're going to need to create a new network. This is a 4G, 5G router. Connect via Ethernet cable. Get your device, your power adapter, and your Ethernet cable. Power up your modem and remove your backup battery if you have one, and disconnect your old router from the modem before moving on. Next step, let's plug in our device. Well, if you have any other devices, this is also your time to go ahead and connect them to the back of the router. Plug in your router and connect it to a power source. Go ahead and press the power on button. We have about one minute until the power LED is solidly on. That means the light, no blinking. Once it is, proceed. Turn on Wi-Fi to find a GNET device. You may see some other devices and lights start to come on as well. That is perfectly normal. Now all of our lights are solid. Let's proceed. So, go into our Wi-Fi settings and connect. In this case, this will be mine. Your password will be on the bottom of your router as well. You can find it here. Your modem will be blinking for a while. And we soon, when it goes solid blue for mine, then I will know that it's ready. Give it a little bit of time to connect. Connect anyways without internet. Let's go into our device settings, back to the app. Wi-Fi is on. Of course, we've already connected. It's searching for the device now. It'll connect quickly. And it did fail that first time, so you might need to retry it, and that's okay. It's connecting to the device now. And we'll create a new password. Make sure it's something you can remember. If you have children, make sure it's something they won't remember. Click where you'll have the device. Scroll down. Click next. This happens when you don't plug the modem back in because they don't tell you to do that, but you need to do that. This is the correct time to do it because now they'll register and handshake as well. And it might restart on you. Just follow the video, start it over. All right, and we're in now. Go ahead and click next. Let's create our Wi-Fi network. I prefer to use the exact old settings. Now, this is band steering. This is very nice. It combines 2.5 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands so that it's just intelligently used. Now the brand new 6 GHz band you're going to want to use independently. That's for your 6E devices. You can see here to unleash most of your latest Wi-Fi. Click Next, then Proceed, Save. And this is for your 6 GHz Wi-Fi. Change the name if you wish. Keep your router updated with automatic time with the switch here. Creating our Wi-Fi network. Make sure you save your Wi-Fi network to your phone. Imagine would like to join Pi's main? Absolutely. Allow location access? I do recommend it for this. I also recommend protecting your Wi-Fi so that the people can't snoop. And it didn't connect to us, so let's try switching to a 6G. Sometimes I just switch around when you're setting up new things. All right, and with all that, we're connected. This is what it looks like inside. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit the bell.